Good day to you, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Let us continue, I guess. I mean, I... Yeah. We're back on the ship, since I just did that whole, uh, thing with the stowaway over again. And now it is on to the Sunry Trial. One thing about Manon is that it is really huge, and quite frankly, there's a lot of wasted space on it. Because, I mean, I was talking about... Uh, I can't fast transit back, damn it. I was talking about, in the last couple videos, about how big this city is. And that's true, it's really big. But there is a grand total of four side quests on this, uh, on this planet, period. Which, um... That's not very many side quests. I know I haven't been showing all the side quests, but trust me, four is a very small number for a planet, so I, it's kind of a lot of wasted space here. Anyway, it looks like Joe Lee wants to talk to us. Let's speak to him. No, uh, no recording session would be complete without starting out with talking. Yes. Got something on your mind, do you? You never did actually say why you decided to come with me. No, I never did, did I? Are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? <laughs> Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andorin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. Move on to where? To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. No, really. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. <laughs> and there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Damn right it is. You got a smart mouth on you there, you know that? If others could talk, they'd sound like that. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. You know what my destiny is? Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? Well, kind of. I can of. see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But, nah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. No, tell me more of what you see. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> and that can't be all bad. Nomi? Who's Nomi? Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. So, you're along as some kind of observer? Nonsense. Have I ever refused to help you when you asked? How confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Except you haven't really done anything yet. Exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! So that, that conversation, I just felt I'd get it out of the way. It's just sort of a taste of things to come with. Jolie conversations. I don't really want to bog up these videos, these next few videos, with too much conversation, considering that what we're going to be doing next is the summary trial, and that involves a lot of talking. And oh crap, do I need to pay this docking fee again? Ah, no I don't. Wow, okay, that works. Could have sworn I had to pay the docking fee again. It works, though. Anyway, I... Auto West. It's, it's Auto West, isn't it? Now, one thing that you can remember about Manon, if you're having trouble finding your way around, is that 
If you're trying to find something, it is most likely an auto west, unless you're trying to find something that's related to the quest. Uh, that that didn't work, did it? Never mind. I ignore what I just began to say because it's stupid. Let me in the prison. Hey, you, let me in. I'm sorry, I'll be going now. Yo. Sundry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was supposed to go to the courts, which are right back here, if I recall correctly. Yes. Yes, they are. And we're going to be treated to... Looks like we're going to be treated to another Republic versus Sith scene before we can actually talk to the people in the courts, but I guess that's okay. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. Yes. The Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Then still just they were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Switzerland! Alright. Looks like you're the person to talk to if there's a talk to person thing. Anyway, hello, Shell Car. How did you know I was from the Republic? Ah, even though it's not actually my ship. Well, uh, uh, no, no, it's perfectly legitimate. Yes. I would like to investigate the murder case involving Sunri as a, um, as a, um, as a, um, as a, um, I, why can't I think of the word? As a favor to this old black man here. <laughs> Yes, I'm the arbiter. He's your sunry's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. Sunry was seen leaving a hotel, leaving behind a dead Sith woman, Alasa Haros. She, he has been charged with murder and is being held in the Otto City Prison facilities. Due to his crippled status, he is being kept in the solitary holding cell. Witnesses claim to have seen the killing and are being detained in the hotel in question pending the trial. The manager of the hotel has now been informed of your appointment. Wait, how? Did you just sort of press a button or something and... Anyway, Elasa was found dead of a blaster wound with an incriminating Republic medal clutched in her hand. The information has been uploaded to your data pad and will to review all information before the trial starts. You may question Sunri or the witnesses. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked against Mr. Sunri. I believe it will take some doing to absolve him of guilt. Ain't yes, that the truth? Seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. He may also interview the judges here, including myself, to get an idea of the pertinent factors in this case. Since this is also your first case, and you have an awful folder, I feel compelled to add good luck as my final missive. Alrighty. So, I am the Arbiter. Yes, I'm the Arbiter. I know the score. From square one, I'll be watching all 64. I'm on the case. Can't be fooled. Any objection is overruled. Nobody is going to know what I'm quoting. I should just stop right now. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Stop whining. Can you tell me anything about Sunri? Sunri is... he's a cripple. 
Yes, there's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. What? Let's that? not forget that he would have to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Are you saying someone your age couldn't overpower a woman? I'm a Jedi, and one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, damn it. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Your husband might not be so innocent to Laura. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this.